Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe. In September 2022, Spotify launched audiobooks on their music and podcast platform. In November 2021, Spotify purchased audiobook distribution platform Findaway Voices. How does this affect the audiobook market? Will it impact self-published audiobook authors, especially those on Amazon's ACX and Audible? Audiobooks available on Spotify are available for sale. Currently, they are not included in any of Spotify's subscription programs for music and podcasts. Whether that will change in the future, we'll just have to see. Prices for audiobooks on Spotify will vary from book to book, depending on the book's retail price and any agreements Spotify has with the major audiobook publishers. Authors who have self-published their audiobooks on Find Away Voices and Spotify establish their own prices for their audiobooks. Spotify users who purchase audiobooks have access to them forever. In contrast, on the ACX, Audible, and Amazon universe, retail audiobook prices for self-published audiobooks are determined by the length of the audiobook. For audiobooks from major trade publishers, prices may be determined by agreements between Amazon and the publisher or distributor. However, Audible is primarily a subscription program which allows readers access to a limited number of audiobooks per month determined by the subscriber's membership level. Audiobooks continue to experience significant growth. Audiobook revenues grew 25% in 2021, which was even higher than the 12% growth in 2020. A Pew Research study found that audiobook consumption grew from 14% of the population in 2016 up to 23% of the population in 2021. It is difficult to yet determine if Spotify's offering of audiobooks will expand the overall audiobook market or just shift readers from Audible to this more flexible a la carte purchasing format. If it just shifts readers, we might see flatter growth. If non-audiobook readers flock to Spotify, we may see additional industry growth. Because Spotify launched this towards the end of 2022, I'll be anxious to watch audiobook stats in the years ahead. While the growth in audiobooks is impressive when considered on its own, it is still the smallest book format, bested by consumption of ebooks at 30% of the population and print books at 65% of the population in 2021. Print books still rule the publishing industry. As well, audiobooks are a pretty small segment of the U.S. publishing industry overall. In 2021, Statista reported that audiobooks were a $1.6 billion market. The overall publishing industry is $33.3 billion. While the new Spotify offering will make audiobooks more accessible to a wider audience, audiobooks have a long way to go to tilt the publishing industry overall. Aside from the fact that Spotify provides a new selling venue for authors, self-publishing an audiobook on Findaway Voices opens up wide audiobook distribution possibilities, including to Amazon, Audible, Hoopla, Scribed, and more. Logically, one would think that the more outlets, the more sales. This is not the case, at least right now. Audible is the dominant audiobook platform for readers. I've seen estimates that Audible alone dominates 41% of the audiobook market. The remaining players, and there are dozens of them, split up the rest. Logic would also suggest that it doesn't hurt to be on more selling venues. Here's where that fails. If you already have self-published audiobooks exclusively on ACX and Audible, you get a 40% royalty share. If you decide to go non-exclusive and self-publish on Find A Way, you'll only get 25% royalty on ACX, Amazon, and Audible. Findaway also touts that the authors who self-publish with them will get 80% of the royalties, 
this is a tricky statement. It's 80% of find a ways royalties, not 80% of the retail price. Findaway takes a 20% distribution fee for every sale, and that's 20% of the royalty portion. Here's the example they show on their website. Say you set your audiobook price at $10 on Findaway. If Findaway has a 50% agreement with that retailer, Findaway will make $5 on that audiobook sale. They will pay you 80% of their $5 cut, or $4 for that sale. Be aware, too, that Findaway's example of 50% retailer share is not the same for every retail partner they work with. It could be higher, maybe 60%, which means lower royalty dollars for you. Whatever the final cut that Findaway earns, they will take a 20% distribution cut of the royalties before they pay you. But here's the downside of ACX. You cannot set your audiobook's price. ACX decides to charge for your book. Your book price is based on the length of the book. Currently, a one to three hour book would be seven to ten dollars. It's not clear what length based pricing tiers are in that range. By contrast, the good news for Findaway is that you, the author, sets the price for your audiobooks. Findaway also has a non-exclusive agreement with authors. That means that authors can self-publish their audiobooks on Findaway and anywhere else they choose. On ACX, there are both exclusive and non-exclusive royalty agreements available. If you decide to change your exclusivity agreement with ACX to non-exclusive from exclusive to take advantage of these new opportunities with Findaway and Spotify, there is a procedure you need to follow. See ACX's support for how to do that. Currently, your book needs to have been for sale under the exclusive arrangement for 90 days before you can make any switch in exclusivity agreements. Note that exclusivity agreement changes on ACX are only available for pay for production and DIY or do-it-yourself self-publishing. Changes to royalty agreements with production professionals or narrators are not allowed. To switch back from non-exclusive to exclusive on ACX also requires this 90-day period. But here's the biggest problem with the switch back in that direction. If you want to go back to an exclusive arrangement on ACX, you can no longer offer your book on Findaway at all. For me, it's very early in the process for clearly determining whether it makes sense to take a royalty hit by publishing on both ACX and Findaway Voices to get the Spotify distribution. I am completely torn over it, but here's what I'm considering. Spotify is dominating music streaming these days. Early 2022 reports note that Spotify has 31% market share for streaming music, while Apple Music has 15% and Amazon Music has 13%. In the podcast space, which for me is closer to the audiobook market, Forbes reports that Spotify has 31.7% of the market as of September 2021, with Pioneer Apple, whose iPod device is the reason we call them podcasts, now lagging behind at 26.9%. We also have to consider that the Audible subscription commitment may turn off some readers. Even though readers can buy audiobooks a la carte on Amazon to listen to on the Audible app, being able to buy audiobooks on an a la carte basis and listen to them on an all-in-one audio streaming platform like Spotify is very appealing. Plus, you own forever access to the audiobooks you purchase on Spotify. It's similar on Audible for any audiobooks you actually purchase. Those are yours to access forever, but those you listen to with the Audible subscription are not. But does forever audiobook access even matter? 
I looked at my lifetime stats for my audiobooks on ACX. 51% are Audible member listens through the subscription program. 42% were discounted book purchases from Audible members who had subscriptions. And about 8% were a la carte purchases on Amazon or Apple Books. I think you can see why I'm torn. My own stats are about 50-50 when it comes to subscription versus purchase listening for my books. Find a Way also has a $100 royalty payout threshold. On ACX, it's $10. I have been very happy with my audiobook publishing experience on ACX, as well the integration with my presence on KDP and Amazon for my Kindle eBooks and print books has been positive. I'd love to hear about your decision process with this new Spotify opportunity. If you're not yet in the audiobook space with your self-published books, and you'd like to learn more about getting your self-published books on ACX and Amazon, check out my Udemy course, How to Self-Publish an Audiobook. I hope you found that helpful and interesting, and if you did, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast app you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you like the YouTube video better, all you have to do is subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get an alert when a new video is up. I would appreciate it if you would share either the audio or the video with your friends on social media. My self-published books and audiobooks are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is search for my name, Heidi Thorne, and a list of the available titles will come up. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.